the content. Advisory services offered through Blackridge Asset Management, registered investment advisor. Securities are offered through Peak Brokerage Services, LLC. Blackridge Asset Management is a separate and independent entity from Peak Brokerage Services, LLC. Member, FINRA, SIPC. And now, today with Denny, here's Denny Artachi. Good morning. Welcome to the Today with Denny show. Hey, good seeing you, buddy. Did you miss you me too, last man. week? I did. Actually, I like your snake skins, man. <laughs> I told you when you walked in the door, those are cool. And now I just noticed you got a... Uh, a gold guitar. It looks like a Strat. Yes. Yeah, it's a, strat, a Stratocaster. Along with uh, the cross that used to belong to my late dad. Absolutely. God bless. Love it. So, uh, you know, that cryptocurrency thing has gotten popular and it's so crazy. We, I have a special guest today that we're going to talk a, a little bit about it. But I cannot believe how cryptocurrency keeps going higher and higher. When Chuck was here a few weeks ago, we were talking about Ethereum. Yeah. And it was around 2400 Al, what what is it at? Like thirty. I think 30, it's like 33 or something. 3,400. I'll, I'll pull it up real quick. I mean, here. when does it stop? And then Doge, this other coin that he was talking about that was around seven, eight cents a month ago, is like 60 cents right 60 now. 60 cents today. That yeah. is insane. So, folks, today I have a very special guest. His name is Al Beltron. Al, how you doing today, brother? Awesome, man. Awesome. Thanks for having me. This hey, is really it's cool really here. You know, you're like the epitome of the entrepreneur for me. You wear many hats, and we're going to talk about that. But one of the things that I met Al is Al is a music promoter, right? Yep. yep. You've got a real estate business. Yes. You have an unbelievable barbecue company. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, that's a little underground. <laughs> okay. So, and, and you also do cryptocurrency personally, right? A little bit, yeah. All right. I've, I've been dabbling for about two years. You know, it's... It's really cool to see it, man. And and you have a 501c company. Uh, what is it called, that company? Okay. It's a, it's actually not mine. Um, Rick Simnet. It's called Destination Fort Pierce. Okay. And I helped them out a little bit over there with it because uh, they really they help promote the arts, the entertainment yeah. of Fort Pierce. Not only, but not not locally. You know what I mean? Yeah, local. But the, the goal is to spread it to the world. Show the world how amazing the culture is in Fort Pierce. In Fort Pierce. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, I when I first came down from New York in 79, I started at Fort Pierce Central. Then I finished at Martin County High. It's true. Fort Pierce is an amazingly different city. Think about all the waterways they have in Fort Pierce. I mean, a lot of fresh seafood goes through there. And I think you told me that that's how you got into music because where was it that you lived in Fort Pierce? All right. So it's <laughs> it's a kind of roundabout kind of way. But right. yes, the first thing about Fort Pierce, the fishing is what brought me there. I absolutely loved it. When I first moved there, Yeah, uh, I would okay. fish on the jetty from sunrise to sometimes the next sunrise. Oh, you were one of those guys. Yeah, man. I would <laughs> love it. Love it. You know, not... Not not doing all the right things, but I was yeah. making money, you know, and living. I was able to sure. fish for days at a time, so it was and pretty eat cool. Your food, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I, I got involved with a Sailfish Brewing Company. Uh, I actually started there as an apprentice. So Sailfish Brewing Company is in downtown Fort Pierce. Um, I got involved. I say within the first month of them opening as an apprentice, it was super okay. cool. I was into beer, yeah, and I was like, man, I kind of want to learn to make it. So I went in my first day that I brewed with Kevin. He was a head brewer at the time. Okay. I said, man, this is what I want to do for a living. I just fell in love with <laughs> brewing to be beer. a beer brewery. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think that pays much, man? Well, <laughs> well, well, that's why I don't do it anymore. But, <laughs> but I did do it. I mean, Evan would do it because he doesn't drink. So he wouldn't be, uh, <laughs> he, he wouldn't be dipping into the profits. Uh, but know? it's, it's just, so, it's so rewarding, you know? <laughs> okay. Like, being able to be a part of making something that people enjoy, that bring people together, that, you know, that people need that in life. They need a reprieve. They need to be able to have something to look forward to. So, so, I, you, so you think beer satisfies all those things? One of them. <laughs> one of them. And then, and, but, and then that kind of moved me more into music. I yeah. started to find what yeah. brings me joy. Right. And and it was being able to see people come together. So I started. I started. And, you, and that gave you the idea for music. Yeah, I wouldn't say the idea, but I mean, it, it gave me a taste. So you listen, know? you put on amazing shows at Terra Formata. For all those of you who don't know, you, we're so lucky. In Stewart, there's a place called Terra Formata. 
that's a live outdoor concert venue. You can bring your pets, your own food. It's like a, 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 a cosmic type of place, and no pun intended. But you started doing shows there, and you've been an amazing promoter. I mean, you, you've had some of your shows. There have been, what, a 1,000 people sitting out there? We've, uh, we've packed. Well, I wouldn't say a 1,000. Well, I don't think we can fit like a 1,000. But, well, I mean, we pack it out. Yes, <laughs> we do pack it out. <laughs> and uh, Eric, of course, loves you for that, and so does Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> yep. So what kind of uh, what kind of upcoming – now, I'm going to play there on the 21st, so we got to promote this, okay? Yeah. I'm going to uh, do the Santana tribute on the 21st at Terra Formata. Last time was very successful. Oh, yeah. And I think you helped out a lot. Yeah. But tell me about some shows that are coming up that, so, you know – well, okay, kinda... I have shows all over, you know, happening, different types of events. But for Terra Formata, yeah. Friday night, there's a super jam, we call it. It's when you get top musicians from, from all over, from different bands that come together and do these amazing jams. This one is called Kamani. So we have players from Prince's band, Prince's really? old band, from the Nth Power, from Toto. Really? Oh, I mean, this is no joke. Some of but, these people but, have... But no Denny Artachi? Uh, not on night? this particular one. <laughs> I could bring my guitar, you know. <laughs> oh, so so that's this Friday night. It's going to be epic. I really, you know, this is going to be some of the best talent that's ever been on that stage, really. I, I'm so stoked for that you one. You know, you have this one band. I forget what they're called. They do like a Grateful Dead tribute, right? Oh, yeah. And, dude, every time they're there, it's pretty much sold out. Are there that many Deadhead fans out there? So many. Really? If, if you, I'm surprised you're not like, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Did you, did you ever really listen to the Grateful Dead, Evan? I don't even know what your music um, tastes are. You know, I like a little bit of everything. Yeah, um, I'm not a Deadhead. I'm not okay. a Grateful Dead <laughs> fan. I'm more of a uh, an old school freestyle kind of guy. Okay, okay. or not? I'm like a pitbull junkie. Really? Oh yeah, I nice. love Pitbull. Nice, <laughs> very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, wait like a minute, Pitbull. Too. He's been around, Mister Three Hundred Five. Mister Three Hundred Five. Yeah. You, really? You oh, listen yeah. to hip hop? I love Pitbull. <laughs> people used I to tell me I look to... like him when I was skinnier. <laughs> yeah. I can listen to Pitbull twenty four seven. Shut the front door. Yes. I thought you were a classic rock guy. No, no. Really? You, yeah. You don't fit the bill, dude. Man. You, you don't look like it. This guy look like gangster right here. <laughs> My iPod is filled with freestyle music. That's awesome. Really? From back in the day. Yeah. Like you're she, my diamond girl. And yes, yeah, yeah, right? Right? Stevie B. Yeah, that was the best. Yeah, There's yeah, some yeah, listeners right. on the yard area going, what the hell are these guys talking about? I don't <laughs> even know what they're talking about. <laughs> Who's Pitbull? Is that is that a dog who did the Budweiser commercial? <laughs> yeah, but that dude is huge now, Pitbull. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, yeah. if I could rap, I'd be rich. I think so. You think? Yeah, I can't rap. Are you kidding? <laughs> sure you can. You think I could? Sure you can. Get a box, wrap it yeah, in paper. Yeah, exactly. You're right. a rapper. Uh, there you go. Well, while, while you were talking about the dead, I don't want to bring it back, but we do have a big show coming up uh, with, with, with them. With We have Crazy Fingers coming back that's, to that's, the garden, okay. which they haven't been there in over a year. Spiral Light, which is our home Treasure Coast dead tribute band. Okay. And there's, we, the uh, opening band is Low Ground. I hate to say even opening. It's just they happen to be playing first. They're going to do a tribute to Old and In the Way, which was another was another project from um, from Jerry Garcia's recording days. Really? And oh my gosh, yes. So it's going to be a whole All right, let's, day. We're going to take a brief pause and come back with more uh, with Al Beltran, right. ladies and gentlemen. All right, we are back. Man, I didn't know my producer was a freestyle freak here know, on, on hip hop. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at him. He <laughs> Oh, Maybe you should man. break that out with next DJ job that you do, man. Can you freestyle? Believe it or not, yeah. a lot of the gigs I do, I wind up playing a lot of freestyle stuff. Oh, Honestly, you do? I do. Well, but you don't it. get people on your love mic. that stuff. Yeah. People In a just, Dream by Raquel. I mean, there's just so much When you say stuff. freestyle, they're rapping, right? They're no. Just kind of, no? Oh, what is it? Freestyle is a type of music. All right. I got to hear this. See? Yeah. Let me see I don't even I, know. Let me see if I can find something for you. You're going to play something like that? So, so Al, you know, what's so interesting is these national acts that come into Terra, I, I wanted to ask you, how do they have a week's notice and 300 people show up? It's because of the promoter. What is his oh, name? Oh, yeah. Uh, Duterman. Great Duterman, promoter. He's he been just, doing it for a while. Yeah. And, you know, if it's a national act and people hear about it, you know, that's 
it's tough getting into music as, as someone yeah. who's starting out. Sure. How are you going to get a bunch of people to come out and check out if they haven't heard the name? Or, right. You know, and now with the National Acts, if a million people in the town know that name. And they just and, happen to show and up. half of them heard of, or even 10% of them heard, and 10% of that made it. You still got a couple hundred people there. So how much do we have to bribe Duderman for the Santana? Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, Evan's right. going to play. This is freestyle. This is freestyle Some type you don't music. love Dude, it. This is ecstasy and glow like stuff. Come this on. This is the beginning of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is like, this is what freestyle groove is. And he, Dude, he this is you? Oh, yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> this is beautiful music. Oh, yeah, this is great stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought that was like the ecstasy glow lights uh, phase well, that went out in the nineties. This the music because you was know it looked, it sounds like eighties uh, synthesizers. There's a lot of that in there, right? The yeah. old classic mm -hmm. sounds. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Freestyle, huh? This this music Do they was sing going too, on. Or? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah. Well, just shows with vocals, this old rocker. Here. Okay. That's all presets. Nielsen has the same groove. It, it's, it kind of sounds like the 80s remix, yeah. you know? Kind of. Yeah. Well, music evolves. Yeah. You know, this would be, I love all types of music. It's all has its, has its flavor, you know, different culture, different <laughs> places where it comes from. Yeah. If any listeners would like to tell me how freestyle music has changed their <laughs> life, go ahead and call in. Uh, I bet you. 772-220-WSTU. And I mean, who knows? Hey, maybe instead of playing some romantic Sinatra, you can play this and spice up the bedroom. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, but you have to back then it was hot. It, it was, was hot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It's still if, hot. If you have a myocardial infarction because of this suggestion, please, I'm disavowing ever <laughs> suggesting this on the show. Um, you know, another hat that you dabble in uh -huh. is real estate. Yes. Yes. I cannot. I just talked to one of my best clients today. I learn something every day. Folks, I far from do not know everything. And she's telling me, uh, what is that clause that you throw in that people can bid higher? Oh, the escalation, escalation clause. Escalation clause. I just clause. had one of those so last she, month. So she's telling me she's got this property with 10 escalation clauses. And I said, well, wow. why don't you skip that and just take the highest bid? And she goes, I can't do it. So how out of control is real estate man yeah it really is like the the one that the deal that we just had last month there was the home went on the market in the morning yeah i went i shot a video made a youtube edit sent it to them yeah and we had an offer in you know within four or five hours of it of it um being on the market and, it, and by the time we put the oh, offer geez. in it already had 11 other offers unbelievable by that time so um joe rosen he's actually he's my team leader and he's a mentor to me amazing real estate agent i would have I would have never known about this clause if we just had a class on that. Right. Like, like two days before so, I showed the house. All right, so He's what, like, this is where you use it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to use it. You know, on <laughs> Facebook, my friends have these memes. Yeah, that offer was good like two minutes ago. <laughs> it's true. And Evan and I have talked about it because, you know, we could probably sell our houses for good profit. But w where the heck are we going to move to? That's the problem we have. Yeah, it's tough. Well, you know, you just got to be ready to pay a lot. Where would you go if you sold your house? How about you, Evan? You going somewhere in particular? <sighs> you know... I can't sell my house. You can't. No matter how much money you gave me. And really? there's, there's a reason why. Why is that? There's some sentimental okay. in, in the house because of my father. Uh, yes, that's why I won't sell it. Okay. Yeah. So, I, Al, because the other thing, too, is rent is out of control, too. It's not oh, easy. Man. I thought, hey, you know what? I had a couple offers in my house in Jupiter. Hey, maybe I'll take the money and I'll rent for a year. And then she was like, no, -uh, rent is not easy to do either. Two grand. Like, So you're you telling me that if you list a house, more than likely, you're going to get more than what you've put it out at more than more likely. than likely. You know, if, if it's not a, if it's not a dump so, well, <laughs> and, and you have a price, you know, you have a right price on it. Uh, but but yeah. everything's relative. I mean, uh, you know, we have too many of us D A R N New Yorkers moving down here, which so isn't many. making, <laughs> I love it though. <laughs> now I know how they felt in 1979 when we moved down here. But it's not just New York. They're coming from all areas of the country to come to Florida, Connecticut. I mean, you know I've what? Seen it all. I credit a lot to do. We have a great governor in Ron DeSantis. He never really totally shut us down. And uh, he did other things that were pro business. And I think that's one of the things besides the fact that we don't have state tax. We don't have some of those things that other people have around the country. And the weather's great here. And we got I mean, great fishing. 
Great fishing. <laughs> I love so, that. So, um, you know, you have this real estate going. You're doing yes. great at it. Yeah. But this music thing, that's what really gets you going, isn't it? Well, it's a combination. Remember how I talked about when I started brewing? Yeah. Right? The joy. Seeing, of seeing joy people in people, enjoy right? It. So then got into the music and the same thing, bringing people <laughs> together. And then my first sale, how amazing it was when I saw the people say, Wow, man, this is the this house is of great. my dreams. My family is going to uh, move in here. So I'm addicted to that feeling. So that's why it all works. It all works together for me. You know, and now when I do the music shows, yeah. I promote the fact that I am an agent. So I can get a bunch of people together having a good time, feeling that joy. So that shirt, that's your logo, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. A B. A B. Yeah. See, you're you're the entrepreneurial spirit because even with myself. I'm branding. Everyone knows I'm a financial planner. I, I have a very good business. Everyone knows I'm an entertainer. But I also like this radio medium because I get to interview people like you. Uh, me and Evan have more fun than we probably should. I mean, <laughs> there's probably uh, – but they have more fun in the morning show. They they get food involved and all kinds of things. Uh, next time you bring me, I'll bring <laughs> some barbecue, some secret slab barbecue. We should have done your bar. And so here's the other thing. That last show or two show, a couple shows ago, you brought that huge barbecue. Oh, maker, yeah. And that food was really good. Oh, thanks, man. I like And to you cook, make man. your own sauce as well. Make all my sauces from scratch. Everything's from scratch. Um, that, that project there, we call it the secret slab. Really? Yes, because it's <laughs> underground. You know, we just kind of do little private events we so, pop up places here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize you're an entrepreneur you're self-employed like me i have a yes. business I, I wear a few hats we never really have a day off do we we're always no. thinking about it's something to me business. it's like you you just live you know yeah to anything i do when i'm being a good husband when i'm being a good father that helps me in work, it gives me the right mindset to go be confident in my day doing real estate. If I'm when I'm doing real estate, it helps me be able to take care of my family. So it's not like, hey, I'm clocking in, I'm clocking out. I just live and everything works together. You know, they say they say separation is the mother of conflict. Uh -huh. You know, like if you say, hey, this is this and that is that, then then all of a sudden you, you have places you you could conflict in your life. I just go. Everything is I part love of this. everything. You know what you're describing? You're describing not one of entitlement, but of obligation to serve the community and put something out there and put yourself out there. Yes. Because – uh, you don't feel like you're working because you love what you do, right? 100%. You don't feel like you're clocking. I mean, Evan sleeps. What, how many hours did you get last night, Evan? I forgot to ask you. Actually, you like I, caught up, I caught up last night. You this got is, eight hours last been, night? Well, this has <laughs> been the week from you know what. Because it okay. was opening. It's our opening week at the stadium for okay. minor league baseball. Okay. So Tuesday night, I went to bed probably 1130 and got up at 3 in the morning and I had to be here. Wow. And then... After that game Tuesday, we had a 12 noon first pitch on Wednesday. Nice. That that which was yesterday. So that was a little <laughs> yeah. And so I got to bed about 8 30 last night. I did a little catching up. Really? But then I'll be up late again tonight because we have a seven o'clock game tonight. Six o'clock game tonight, actually. But how you about you? How it. about you, Al? Do you sleep much? Um, so I I try to get <laughs> think I try it. to get six hours. Okay. You know, that's that's like Usually, I can't even sleep any longer than that. Okay. You know, so that's what I try to get. They say it's healthy to get the A. If I, you know, if I do, I don't know. It's just hard for me to lay in bed that long. I don't know too many adult business owner, entrepreneurial types that sleep eight hours a night. I just, I, I want to meet say them. it's good for you, but I'd it's, say I can't. between six and eight. Because remember, it's not just how many hours, but how deep your sleep is. You know, how, yep. how much good sleep do you get? Yep, yep. And if you're getting up all the time or every few hours, it's going to be totally different. So, yep. um, you know, we have the show, the Santana show on the 21st. You mentioned this Friday. Um, Terra Fermata, I tell you, since Eric has bought it, He's been trying to stay consistent with bringing in different acts. I mean, uh, Ron and everyone and Jonathan have always done a good job, but it looks like Terrace has started getting more and more traction for different acts that want to play there. Because think about it. There is no other place like it in the Treasure Coast. It's a true music venue. Right. You go there for the show. For the music, right. You know, and that's it's special. You know, it really, really is. There's a lot of places where, you know, you could go eat. 
and then they happen to have music. Right. But here, when when the musician is on stage, everybody all eyes on them. This is what I'm here to do. Hey, I'll grab a beer while I'm watching you play. <laughs> And you know? Jonathan does a great job mixing. Oh, yeah. It's a concert venue. I love the place. Oh, I, yeah. You know, um, you, you have the tonight. It's going to be uh, another blues night. And actually, uh, one of my favorite guitar players, I, I don't know if I can make it because I had another commitment, but I found out two days ago that Dave Scott will be playing tonight with He's the blues great. band. He who's awesome. But Steve Boland is awesome. He's oh, uh, yeah. Uh, on the 16th, we're going to do the uh, Treasure Coast Blues Picnic. Okay. And Steve's going to come and sit in. And, and uh, I'm working on some other guests to come play at the show. But, you know, Stewart is, like Fort Pierce, has a lot of waterway, a lot yes. of good fishing. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, this is one of the things that makes Florida so special. Think about all the different spots throughout the East Coast and the West Coast that has the fishing Nice, easy lifestyle. I mean, we we don't have people burning businesses here or protesting. Man, no, this is a, this is a beautiful, beautiful place for many reasons. Yeah, and it all kind of ties in. Like being in real estate, it it's good for me to be able to put shows and festivals and events together. Why? Because people looking for somewhere to move, they want a place that's alive and vibrant, exactly, in the yeah. culture. So it's yeah, man. This there's a lot going on here that's just perfect. And it's one of the most, still one of the most affordable beach towns in Florida, you know? Well, affordable is a relative thing, but yes. Yes, yes, you, you're right. If you look at From my financial guy. <laughs> well, because I, you know, I've, I have clients that make 40000 a year that have it more together than some that make, you know, 200000 a year because they practice the art of putting money away, saving, investing, and being frugal. I mean... I'm still amazed how we're supposedly have these hard financial times and every restaurant is packed, crowded. You have to wait to get in there and, and eat, you yeah. know? Um, so I think our economy is doing very well. This area is doing very well. Yes. I, I just, uh, I, every restaurant I go to, it seems like it's pretty packed. Yeah. yeah. And it's looked like the music shows are also, we're trying to get back to normalcy. Yes. If that's at all possible. Uh, we're going to take another brief pause and come back on Today with Denny. All right. We are back with entrepreneur Al Beltron. You know, we were talking. Um, I was almost late today, but I didn't go because uh, Governor DeSantis is signing in legislation today at the airport Hilton. And I was there, uh, I'm going to say a couple of weeks ago, I, I was asked to sing and perform. And I did the national anthem uh, General Flynn was the guest speaker, and it was a nice event. I mean, some some people on Facebook kind of took it the wrong way because you know it wasn't a political thing. I was I was um, asked to perform, and that's what I did. Everyone knows I'm a uh, moderately conservative Republican, but I don't bash liberals and all that. We're all in this together, folks. I want President Biden to succeed. I want America to succeed. I wish we would tone back the rhetoric and just talk to each other. You know, you and I were talking earlier, Al, about this COVID thing and and a lot of stuff that we see in the media. We don't know what to believe because they always change a book. Can, can we agree that both sides have their own narratives that they're trying to pr promote? We're talking politics. So let me know when you're done. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I, I, uh, well, just but you are right. No, there is. Well, you never know. Aside, you never know what to believe. I kind of right. So you know, the old way of American life was we all would sit around and talk to each other and say, "Hey, I found this to be true." And what do you think? And they weren't like, "Huh? How dare you think?" They were like, "Oh, that sounds interesting, Al." You know, yeah. uh, I heard about that, but I don't know if it's true. And let me tell you what I heard. So that's yeah. how we educate people. And and the thing, same thing with this COVID. I know that. Uh, he's signing in that the mask mandate is going to be over, I think, June 1st. I know that's going to upset a lot of people, and I, I understand. I get it. You have a right to wear a mask yes. and stay at home and don't go anywhere. But, you know, uh, a lot of businesses are trying to survive, and we're trying to get back to normalcy. And, uh, you know, I think I, I would I would hope as Americans, and I, I'm a veteran myself, you know, that we just talk more to each other. And, and, you know, I think you're be less political correct, about man. things. You know, I'm, I live. I learn stuff every day. Completely as far from politics as possible. <laughs> exactly right. Because I think everybody's got a great point. 
Yeah. You know, I love to listen to ideas. I have my ideas. Exactly. And that's that's the way I like to live, man. You know, straight right down the middle, man. I love everybody the same. Well, We're all humans. One thing too, Al, you do not live in fear, do you, brother? Not at all, man. Not yeah. You know why? Because ultimately God controls everything. Yeah. Or the universe or however you believe, <laughs> you know? Oh, okay. Oh, we have a caller. Um, let's see. Uh, is this Joe? Oh, it's my man. Yeah, Joe. how you doing, Mr. Hey, Joe, Joe oh, Rosen? Do you know Joe Rosen? Oh, yes. Do you owe this guy money? So <laughs> this is the guy that I was telling you about. That's the amazing agent that I work on his team that has taught me so much. Oh, about the real estate. Yes, yes. Joe, man. how long is this thing going to keep going, man? Well, I'll tell you personally, interest rates are low. Yeah. Right now in South Florida, more than anywhere else in the U.S., you've got an influx of cash coming from New York and New Jersey because they want to get the heck out of there. So as long as they're having worse market conditions than us, we're going to continue to get that. And that's not a U.S. thing. That's a South Florida thing. Now, um, now here's the craziest thing, thing about- Joe. I don't mean to cut you off, but but I just did. <laughs> um, <laughs> Is it true that in New York and other places, they're charging them a surtax to sell their properties? I have not heard that, but the, I mean, that does, I don't really know that market that well. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So like yeah. new, is that new? Like they just added I, they're it? They're trying to get them to stay. So Joe, you're getting more cash buyers and finances with this? Yeah, I would say maybe 50 to 70% of the buyers that I'm coming in contact with daily are from New York or New Jersey. And they're either cash or they're heavy cash. Okay. Yep. Which makes negotiating a lot easier, doesn't it? Yep. Well, for me, yeah. But if you, you, so we've also got local buyers here, the people in our community that we know, like, and love. And uh, especially if you're a first time home buyer, you've got FHA financing, you don't have a lot of cash down. That is challenging. So we've had to, to go to some really out of the box negotiation tactics to get these, these offers won. Oh, yeah. So what about the one that I was talking uh, to Al about with the escalation? Clause? Yeah. Clause. Yeah. How do you deal? How do you uh, let, let's say you put out a house and there's 10 offers and every one of them have an escalation. How do you deal with that? As a listing agent or a buyer's agent? Uh, that's a good question. What's the difference? What if you're the listing agent? Yeah, the listing agent. Well, as a listing agent, I mean, it's so tough to give a blanket strategy because every every deal, every offer, every seller, every buyer is so different. But really, as a listing agent, I always tell agents this to give them a little bit of hope and buyers. Okay. When there's 10, 15 offers, there really aren't 10, 15 offers. There's about three or four that are competing. The rest of them are usually not that great of offers. There's a lot of people still coming in five grand low, 10 grand low, even market price right now is a bad offer in most situations. So people coming in with that, they're not even in competition. The top three or four, mm-hmm. what I like to do is reach out to them maybe a day before we're going to make a decision and just say, hey, listen, you you made it. You made it to round two. You're in the top three or four. But I can't tell you if you're number three or if you're number one. <laughs> I do want to let you know that you know here's our deadline. It's 12 hours from now or whatever it is. I need your best offer. If they're in third, fourth place, I'm going to tell them, hey, you're off. Let me tell you where you need to be at a minimum to even be in the realm of things. But again, all of that you can't do unless your sellers say it's okay. So you got to run all that by your sellers before you do it. And and you better hope that that realtor is really being square with you. <laughs> well, that's most, a lot won't, you know, but one of the things right. I'm learning from Joe's transparency, okay. expectation management, all these things are so important. And Joe, I got to say, thank you so much for teaching us this, you know, cause there some agents will not, you know, go, go that route. You well, know? look, I believe, yes, because rates are, I, I just refinanced my house. Uh, I'm going to say uh, two months ago, I locked in 225. That is such wow. a gift. I can't tell you historically, if you can own a home for less than 5%, historically, that's like a home run. Now we have these rates. So yeah, I think uh, that's helping the market, but yes, then you have us Fellow New York, New Jersey guys <laughs> coming down here, bringing all their baggage, <laughs> driving like momos and stunards, you know, <laughs> holding true. up You're traffic. Good at, You're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> and, they're, and they're buying it up like crazy. I mean, I don't know. I thought also this was propelled by COVID, right? They wanted, I, I mean, look, yeah. I know we're not getting political, but let's just face it Cuomo and de Blasio are not the sharpest crayons in the box. 
I think Can it, I at least yeah. say that? I think it's just a perfect storm, a little <laughs> bit of everything. So they're like, yeah, I don't know if I want to stick around here. Let me go down to Florida. There's no state tax. It's a nice, cool living. Uh, this house that I'm selling for a million or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I can buy something nice for half that amount. Yep. That's kind of the mentality, right, Joe? Yeah, I've been saying uh, their governor is the best real estate agent quote I have. So. <laughs> There's nobody you love them more than me. Oh, Get it, great. buddy. <laughs> uh, Dude, you're right. I would have a T-shirt that says, Cuomo says this is a good deal. Yeah, yeah both for them again. Keep them in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging it. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. But yeah, you know, the other thing to consider, too, I talked about rates and people coming down from up north. But we've also got such low inventory, you know, in Port St. Lucie, last I looked up, we had 11, 1200 uh, available houses. How many? 11, 1200. And that's in a 200,000 person city. And when was we, this? Uh, this was maybe in the last three, four weeks I looked this up. So it, it's going to be pretty consistent with that right now. Wait, what so, is available though? That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, my there, question. There's nothing available. Right. So when you go and you want to look at a home, if you tell me, hey, so I'll give you an example of something I looked up personally because I just went pending on a home uh, maybe four or five weeks ago. Okay. And I was looking for four bedrooms, Port St. Lucie, has a pool between 349 and 450. Now, I would expect to see 30, 40 options. Right. There were eight. <laughs> and when you look in that eight, uh, two to three of them, because it's a quote unquote seller's market, they're way overpriced. They weren't even they in are. consideration. Yeah. So really, I had about five choices. That's it. A couple of years ago, I bought my mom a house. I found it myself, um, and it's definitely worth at least a hundred thousand more than when than we when I bought it for her. So yeah, Port St. Lucie. Uh, uh, this was a hot spot because people said, "Well, you know, I don't want to pay Palm Beach prices. Let me. I can get a house for two fifty, three hundred in Port St. Lucie." Not anymore, my friends, <laughs> unless you want a shoebox, right? I saw 1,200 square foot, you know, because once in a while I'll look for curiosity. Because uh, if, you know, one of you find a, a cash buyer for my house, I got to live somewhere. <laughs> and I saw a shoebox for 11, 1,200 square feet going for 250. Yeah. yeah. One, you know, Especially a one car garage. Where is that here in Stewart? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that's just insane. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, look. I don't think we're going to have a bubble like we had in 2008. We don't know where the next bubble is going to come, but it's kind of like the cryptocurrency thing. How long is this thing going to keep going? Yeah, yeah. So and yeah, just and to keep on plugging. I really you know? don't see the, the only way the market's going to change, in my opinion. Yes, is if rates go way up, which I don't foresee that happening. Not Certainly immediately, not in a short amount of time. Or we get a lot more listings, which the only way we're going to you'd almost have to triple listings. Just to get a neutral market. That's not even a buyer's market. That's a neutral market. And to be able to triple list uh, listings, you'd have to have a market impact. I mean, you'd have to have foreclosure, short sales. Exactly. Like that. Right. That was the other thing that I thought could happen because, look, we don't, we didn't really know how COVID was going to affect us economically. Yeah. So I said, you know what? If unemployment stays uh, getting worse and people can't find work, we're going to see a foreclosure. But we've recovered pretty darn well from what I can see. And people are spending money. Retail sales are up. I, I mean, I never understood how spending a lot of money is good for the economy when people are going into higher debt. But hey, that's a whole different topic altogether. <laughs> um, but yes, real estate is just amazing. And let me tell you something, as a financial planner, a lot of you realtors could be putting a lot more money away to pay yourself. Yeah. And what I'm talking about is either do a, a, a SEP IRA, which you can do $59,000. You can do even more in a defined benefit plan if you're making good money. Because look, you realtors need to understand this is as good as it's getting. You need to yep. start paying yourself. So if you made yourself $200,000 and you can put away, you know, 60, 70, 80,000 for your own retirement dreams, Instead of paying the IRS, would you? That's huge. Right. So uh, I, I almost want to have classes or, or reach out to you realtors because I'm telling one of my best clients does very well. I don't want to. Let's just say she makes at least se seven figures. OK. And she's up in the Sarasota area. She's the one who told me about this. These clauses. Yeah. And she was telling me how she's working 
seven days a week. But you know what? She's making so much money right now. She says, I'll sleep in a few months or something. I don't know. And I, I threatened. I said, I'm just going to drive to where you are, tie you up and take you away for a couple of days to make sure you have, you know, a couple of days off. Because how busy, Joe, is everybody with this crazy real estate, real estate market? Yeah, it, it's nuts. I mean, we, we've got a team and I've got experienced agents. I've got new agents. I'm telling you, even our new agents. Literally, I've got an agent who's been in about nine weeks, <laughs> and she's she's already got one sale. She's got two pending. She's got a <sighs> listing. Now she's executing. She's doing everything we say. But if you're doing it, if you're literally going out and saying, "Hi, I'm a realtor," yeah, you're going to be busy. We're going to take another pause, Joe. Thanks for calling hey, in, thanks, brother. Joe. And yeah. uh, remember what I said. I'll be in touch with you. Okay, we'll uh -huh. be right back. All right, we are back on today with Danny. Yeah, you know, we we're talking on the break. It's it's hard because I, I was telling Evan, you know, maybe I'd sell my house and go to a condo, but man, I don't want to live on top, besides in front or behind people. You'd be hearing about me in the news, you know? <laughs> yeah, there, there <laughs> yes. might be a time where, where that would make sense for you, but I'm, I'm I said, more shut up. Guy. It's two o'clock in the morning. I don't care if you hate your wife. <laughs> go to sleep. You know, or if you want to play late, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a late night guy. I like to beat the gym early. I'm an old man now, unlike <laughs> you guys. Well, Al, you're you're younger than all of us. So I don't know. But How I'm getting close. Look at all this gray hair. I know. I'm letting my gray hair I'm go. I'm about to be 42. Oh, my God. Are you listening to this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 42 yeah yeah man. dude that's nothing but i mean i don't feel old i feel great i hope they card you every good. time you order a drink at a bar i don't know uh, they do when i shave okay but i haven't shaved in 20 years so that's probably why <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm gonna let my gray hair go i i want to make myself unattractive this way people stay away from me man, no they think? like it nowadays you think they do oh yeah that whole salt and pepper silver fox <laughs> that's the thing now man evan's got his gray going yeah. you like it right evan <laughs> Sa saves on hair dye i got nothing up here <laughs> i have nothing up here there ain't there ain't a lick of hair up there at all there is that's a, it's a solo and panel. listen i applaud you not wearing one of those rugs because no. they're never convincing no. yeah. you know i just want to walk up to someone and go or just shave it off just shave it off you know <laughs> or a good wind combine it's just <laughs> if i was up. bald i'd be the yule brenner look absolutely yeah. they're like ow there yeah, you go yeah. baby but i mine, mine actually grows you start yeah. growing some mine grows but i shave it down yeah yeah my girlfriend Man, likes it like this that. is by choice yeah. exactly it's a, it's so a al you're, you're gonna make a killing on real estate you're you're yes. doing the cryptocurrency thing yep yep you're gonna need someone like me to help you secure your financial future you know a hundred percent yeah so yeah yeah man that's what you know that's how it started i was talking about <laughs> what do you do I was yeah like, man, right. i'm gonna need your help one of these days that's exactly you know i think that's how the world is coming when people are branding and marketing themselves yeah i know i'm on facebook linkedin i have a website uh i, I really enjoy the radio show because i get to talk and interview different people and and i think most successful business owners or types need to brand themselves in different ways. People want to kind of see different sides of you. And I think you're doing a great job with the, the music, the music promoting that you've been doing. I'm so impressed with, we got to, Hey, listen, we got to make May 21st, a gangbuster show. What do oh you think? yeah. No, we I'll, do work, that? I'll work on that artwork today, man. We'll, we'll get it out. Let's give I away. Just, I just heard about this a couple of days ago. So let's do it. I'm let's ready. give away a free car. It might be just a matchbox car, but it'll hey. be a free car. Okay? <laughs> We're giving away a Mercedes, ladies and gentlemen. It's only three or four inches long, but uh, we are talking about cars. So don't get crazy <laughs> on me. All right. <laughs> We've done so that. I've actually done given that. Up some stuff? Yeah. TVs. I get sponsors are going on me, and what we do is, you know, we give it away. People sign up. Email. How about a free beer and a picture with Eric Wickstrom? There you go. That's there a good go. one. That's a good one. I think that's what we should do. <laughs> Eric, if you're listening, dude, I'm going to pimp you out. <laughs> free beer and a picture with Eric Wickstrom. Make sure, make sure you wear your good shirt. <laughs> he does have a few nice shirts. Right. Do we have another call? Yeah, you got Charlie on the line right now. Charlie. Right. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, you, uh, Charlie, you're on today with Denny. Which Charlie is this? Hello, this is Palm City Charlie. Anyway, you mentioned, uh, Denny, you mentioned uh, cryptocurrency. Yes. Okay. Um, in my opinion, and I'm one of those one percenters, <laughs> that, is, that is a way, um, I believe, it's an attempt to destroy the dollar, the uh, U.S. currency. 
China would love to be the world currency, and they're laughing their butts off. Now it's I mean, interesting. A, a pocket full of vapor? Come on, man. To you, use Biden's statement. You didn't. Did you call in a couple weeks ago when I had Chuck Johnson in? Uh, Charlie, did you listen to the show? I I do listen to the show, okay. and I um, I'm a frequent caller to uh, fifteen ninety and fourteen fifty. Okay. So I I I I like Evan. I prefer the old guys up there. At 14. <laughs> I'm an old fart myself, but anyway, Evan's um, trying to hold on I to had, his sexiness, actually, though, dude. Okay. Come on, man. He's into uh, what's that music that you love now, Eric? Freestyle. He's a freestyler, man. Did you know that Evan's no, a freestyler? Fine. I love music, okay, but the bottom line is I love retirement. I love the American dollar, and I'm on Team America. I don't care what color you are. As long as you are bringing something to the table, God bless you. All right, use the front door. Don't slip through the uh, bottom of the gates or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, uh, I use Morgan Stanley, and I've already told those people off. They recognize cryptocurrency. That's ridiculous. Well, here's the thing. I'm conservative by nature, and it does scare me because how do I know? And I'm getting more educated because people are making money, but people make money selling lemonade for all I know. Mm -hmm. and what's, what's to stop Vinny Bombots and Associates to say, hey, Charlie, uh, thanks for your money, but you have a zero balance in your account. That happened once. I can't Actually, send anybody over there to collect. I, I called uh, up on a Sunday. I said, my money disappeared. I'm going to have to go back to work. My guy, that was the one had Merrill Lynch. He ran in. You still have money. They're servicing the account. Oh. So anyway, God bless you guys. Hey, and, thanks for uh, calling yeah. in, Charlie. And uh, yeah. man, I, lo I, I love you guys. Team America, people. Well, doesn't matter your color. You're If you're an American, join our team. Thank you, guys. Oh, Sounds good. Nice. Thanks for calling, thanks for Charlie. Like Have a good that. one. I like that. Yeah, that, that is like I was telling you in the green room. Uh, that's the biggest thing that people think about this crypto stuff. Say, hey, can I get an order filled? Is it going to be secure? And then you said to me, and it's right, well, because you have to give them your bank account information online, right? You give it to everybody. But you give it to everybody, What's right? What's the difference, you know? <sighs> the technology behind it, and once you learn more about it, it's almost like it can't disappear. Well, because they have the encrypted way of paying yes. for, right? But I was just telling Evan and Bonnie earlier that I was called, I was emailed a scam because there's so many scams out there. Oh, yeah. So they send me uh, the Geek Squad logo and said, hey, we've just renewed your prescription for uh, subscription, excuse me, for $250. I'm like, what? I call a number and the guy was like, oh, that's okay, sir. Come on to the site. Let me get control of your computer and I'll, I'll yes. refund you. Yes. And what was the other one? The social security scam. What was the one that uh, uh, earlier this morning? IRS is calling you. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft wants to give you money. Yeah, Microsoft's going to call you and yeah. give you money. The Amazon. What I, was the I, one that your other host was talking about earlier, uh, Evan? That he said he called. He he had one recently that tried to scam him as well. Um, it, he mentioned something about Amazon. I think. yes, that's yes, it. Amazon. Right. That's yep. the other thing too. They'll call. And say, oh, this is like Amazon's mm -hmm. going to call Denny Artachi. Hey, we're really concerned <laughs> about your account. And, uh, you know, we've got extra money we want to give you. Yeah, I love man. those surveys, too. Hey, sign up for a free $100 gift card. You know how many Momos put all their personal information in there man. so they can win a $100 gift card? Yep. <laughs> I mean, I, when I was young, I used to fall for those kinds of things, you know, because I didn't know. I was like, man, I feel important. This is right. great. Good thing I, nothing ever came out of it. You know, I would, I guess back then I didn't have anything for them to take. You know, <laughs> you have to, like, I know my broker dealer email, when we send stuff, it has to be encrypted. Because from what I understand from a couple of clients, if someone hacks into your bank account and steals your money, the bank's not liable. Mm -hmm. Like, what? What do you mean? Well, yeah. I mean, you were dumb enough to give your identity stuff but but i mean why why is it why are they not liable for that but they're liable for other you know what i mean you haven't you have like know. this kind Cause, of insurance because life is not fair how's that yeah. i don't know <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I figure everything's a risk you know so yeah. this so this friday terra formata will have which group 
Uh, they're called Kamani. It's a super Kamani. jam. Okay. Some of the best musicians that ever been on that stage, <sighs> except for you, my, except for you yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look and see how the other half lives. You know? <laughs> and, yeah, come uh, and hang. There are amazing. there are a lot of good shows coming up. But Terra Formata has yeah. their website. If you're local, you really should go to this venue. I mean, there's no other venue like it. I know that. I'm going to, uh, on Sunday, the, the 16th, we're doing the Treasure Coast Blues thing. I'm going to do original blues. But the 21st will be the Santana tribute band. Man, which, you kill that show. That was so much so fun. Good, man. That was really You're so bringing much back fun. all those guys? Yes. That's a, I mean, phenomenal. One yeah. of the best tributes I've ever been a part of. I must tell you that. So great. Oh, well, thank great you. Great so job. let's let's tell them that we're going to give away a little car and they're going to get a picture with Eric Wickstrom. There you go. Wearing one of his shirts. And I will personally up. serve your beers all night. <laughs> will you bring the barbecue for that show? Um, That's a lot of work, right? It is. Look, if I barbecue, I like to buy bartender there too you i know, know a couple you do nights a week yes. sometimes you know so, so i you definitely know you'll have more fun bartending that yes night. leave yes. the barbecue at home yeah 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 i'll do that for another show i'll tell michael washington that evan was too busy to come hear him play music it ain't i'm gonna call him on the phone right now you're gonna tell him <laughs> yourself you're gonna confess you're done, the reality him. i'm gonna give him the reality i'm okay. making money because he know? said he was gonna come but see evan's one of those guys too he has like 10 jobs and a uh, family yeah. yeah yeah that's why he doesn't sleep and you said, did I hear a five bedroom house? How many kids? Yeah, five bedroom. I have four. Well, it's where I'm almost empty nesters. It's oh. my wife and I and my 18 year old. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, got more, you got more room for that freestyle music, dude. You, said, I have a, I have, you see my man cave. My man cave will blow you away. <laughs> oh, you do have a man cave? I have a, I have a whole full. Why am I not surprised? Studio. Yeah. And do you have any special lights in the man cave? No, there's my whole studio right there. Oh, jeez. Nice. Look at this. My whole studio. It's where all the Very magic nice. happens. Unbelievable. Very and cool. this guy's the announcer for the Mets. At one time, when he was out of his mind, he was a, a WWE announcer for, what, eight years? Uh, from 1988 through 1997, I was a ring announcer for WWF. Oh, That's WWF. Oh, yeah. WWF. That's now it's WWE. It. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, the red and yellow. Yeah, back he was then. a little Hulkster back then. <laughs> Big I'm sure. time. I was yeah, all brother. about it. <laughs> you know, people Eat go, "Oh, that stuff is fake." Yeah, Drink it could milk. be fake, but you still have to be in incredible shape to do what oh, those guys yeah, do, and man. the gals. Yeah, all of them. Much respect. Hey, for some that. of the gals, I want to hire to collect money from me. They look pretty tough. Oh yeah, they don't oh, mess yeah. around. You know. I mean, and they're tough and beautiful, a lot of them, too, you know? Do they test them for, for steroids? No, yes. No need. Vicious, vicious drug testing program. Oh no. God. Yeah. Well, uh, Al, look, uh, I may make it Friday, but we're going to do the 21st. Yes. I've enjoyed having you, brother. Thanks, You're one man. of those cool dudes. Thanks, bro. That was, Everybody, fun. make it the best day that you can. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week on Today with Denny. Yeah.